This portion of our show brought to you by Bebop or Rebop Rhubarb Pie. So you're walking through the grocery store, stocking up on the usual staples, white bread, bologna, potato chips, Coke, Pepto-Bismol, when you accidentally bump your card into another shopper. Ouch, ouch. Sorry, sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. My fault, my fault. No, it's my fault. Which sends her basket toppling over into your cart. Luckily, it doesn't take long to sort out which groceries are hers. Okay, kale. Oh, mine. Figures. Uh, organic eggs. Oh, those are mine. Naturally. Uh, mine. Uh, no, uh, cows, cows. No, it's couscous, and it's mine. <laughs> As she walks away, breezing past the ice cream freezer like some kind of viceless monster, you take a hard look at the contents of your cart and abandon it right then and there in the yeah. middle of the store. Hey, hey, you're blocking the aisle. Everybody. You march out the door. <laughs> bing, bing. <laughs> And across the street. <laughs> and buy your very first gym membership. Thank you, I'm ready to go. And you start working out. <sighs> and you don't stop. You're a new man, a healthy man. You take the stairs instead of the elevator. <laughs> Drink water instead of sweet tea. Ew, are That's you good. crazy? That is good. You even find new friends. Hey, man, it's Fred. Left you a bunch of messages. Uh, you, hey, you call me back. Your new friends are fit and run for fun, not because they're being chased. You look better, but more importantly, you feel better. In fact, you feel amazing. Superhuman, even. You take up boxing, rock climbing, car pulling. Hey, get off my car! <laughs> elephant bench pressing. And extreme fencing. And you've developed a new habit of annoying everyone you meet. Uh, excuse me, you know that pasta alone has your caloric intake for an entire day. I hey, we're on a date. Ew. Please stop bothering us. You'll thank me someday. Sir, no, you need to you need to stop coming into this cheesecake factory and bothering the patrons. I'm sorry, but they need to see the light. I mean, well, the only yourself. thing they need to see is your butt as you walk out that door. Oh, sir. really? Scoot, scoot, I will scoot. not leave. No, 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 no. You get out of here. No, no. And by the time the cops arrive. <laughs> You've ruined a dozen cheeks cheesecakes and terrified 15 families. Okay, sir, come with us. You blame your behavior on an overdose of kale and seaweed. But it's no use. You land in jail and call your friends to bail you out. Oh, yeah, now you call me. We're all your healthy friends. Well, they're huh? running an ultra marathon in Big Sur. But listen, what I, I, look, I'd love to help you, but I got a supreme pizza in the oven and, you know, Bing, bing. Oh, oh, it's ready. I gotta on. go. Bye. Pizza? No, wait. Don't, don't, don't. Jeez. Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> then hey. the jailkeeper brings you dinner. What is this? White bread, bologna, oh. potato chips, oh. and a carton of extra sweet tea. Oh. Just then, your cellmate turns to you and says, You want to play strip poker? <laughs> I'll deal. Oh. Wouldn't this be a good time for a piece of rhubarb pie? Yes, nothing gets the taste of shame and humiliation out of your mouth like bebop a rebop rhubarb pie. Well, one little thing can revive a guy, and that is some homemade rhubarb pie. Serve it up nice and hot, maybe things aren't as bad as you thought. Mama's little baby loves rhubarb, rhubarb, bebop a rebop, a rhubarb pie. Mama's little baby loves rhubarb, rhubarb, bebop a rebop, a rhubarb pie. A bebop a rebop, a rhubarb pie. Bebop a rebop, rhubarb pie. In finer freezers everywhere.